Hello and welcome to Tabletop for One. Today I am doing a solo playthrough of Port Royal, the big box. We will be using the base game and the Just One More Contract expansion. And in this solo mode, we are trying to complete these three contracts before our time deck runs out. I've already set up the time deck. After you set up the time deck, you remove as many cards as you would like, which will go into a scoring pile. I removed five here. I'm trying to score at least five points. And um, so that removes, you know, the time you have to complete these contracts. So adds a little bit of a challenge. But I'm going to go ahead and challenge myself here, see if we can get these done. The contracts I have are the Frigate Nemesis. And the Frigate Nemesis, uh, you progress along this contract when you take a Frigate and don't take the money with it. The Speculator here requires that you have three different colored ships in the center. And then you can add your cube on here. And the second time there are three colored ships three different colored chips in the center, you get to complete that contract. The last one here, the thrifty staff, is you have to hire four workers that uh, cost three or less. And once you've hired all four, you will complete that contract. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started here. I have my three gold at the bottom. And you start by drawing the top of the deck here. And here we go. We've got a frigate right away. And, uh, we can go ahead and say, you know what? I'll take this card, but I will not take the money. And that puts me in that first position on the frigate nemesis track. Now we draw another card from the time deck. And we have a trader. Now that actually could be really useful, especially since it's um, going to give us additional money when we take a galleon. And uh, we have $3. It is a $3 uh, employee or worker so it's going to count towards the thrifty staff so we're going to spend three dollars and buy the trader all right next round we have a sailor and then we draw from this deck now an expedition a priest a yellow ship which we don't have any money, it might be worth it, but I think we're gonna push our luck a little bit. A green ship. Now remember, if we get three different colors here, we can progress on this contract. So we might do that, let's just keep going. We have another trader, a clerk, and the blue ship. All right, we have three different colors, so let's go ahead and add our cube to this contract. Now, at this point, I think it might be worth taking um, some money, maybe, <laughs> right? Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's, let's take the yellow ship. With, with three different colored ships in the display, you're able to take one card. If I had four different colored ships, I'd take two. If there were um, five different colored ships, then I'd take three. But in this case, we only get one, so we're going to take... The yellow ship, which will gain us two gold. And I shouldn't look at those. <laughs> and then we go ahead and flip over the next time card. All right. We have a settler. Yellow ship. Tax increase. All right. So the tax increase happens. Now, if I have 12 or more gold, I would be losing half of that. I don't. I only have the two. But I still gain the bonus, so I gain a gold. And then I have the choice of removing one card from the time deck, adding it to my score pile to see if I can score more points. As of right now, we have eight cards left. We've made some decent progress on the, um, on the track, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put that card in the score, in the score pile, hoping for six points this round, which I've never scored before in this game. All right, moving on. We have the galleon. So now if I take this galleon right now, I'll get two gold. But I really kind of want to push for the speculator. Try to get a third different color here. Oh, look, it's a second galleon. That's going to cause us to discard everything. And now we have to start another round. Drawing from the time deck. 
in the regular deck. Ooh, the flute with four gold. That is so tempting. We do need more gold, so I think we're going to go ahead and take that. That's going to give us four. Now we're up to seven. All right, I don't think we need any more gold at this point. We'll gain some from the contracts. So let's draw from the time deck. I don't want the gambler. There's a frigate. So let's go ahead and take the frigate, not take the money, and move this cube one spot. Now we just need that one more time. All right. Time deck. There's a flute. Yellow card. Ooh. Let's go for three different colors. There's an expedition. A captain. And a green one. All right. So we completed that there. That's going to give us two... Now the question is, do we want to buy anything or do we want to keep going? I think we want to keep going because this captain costs four, so he doesn't count towards the thrifty staff. So there's nothing that I really want here. So I'm going to just keep pushing my luck. There's a green ship and that's going to end this turn. All right. Now we flip this one over. Hey, it's a frigate. We'll go ahead and claim that, not claim the money, and we'll get... The contract that's going to award us like a bajillion gold here okay it's eight gold but we have more than enough gold the question is do we have more than enough time all right <laughs> we have to get three staff in three turns all right let's see if we can do this here we go there's a priest a tax increase well we do have to lose half of the gold here, so. Nine gold, we're gonna lose nine, but we're gonna gain one from the bonus at the bottom. So we still have nine left, which is just enough to buy the three cards we need, assuming they show up. There's a galleon, a pirate, a flute, gambler and another flute oh no doesn't look like we're gonna get what we need oh no because at this point we will run out of rounds look at all the different colors no <laughs> and that is gonna finish it out that is too bad and there we go ran out of time i pushed my luck too much and lost the game well there you have it that is port royal with the just one more contract expansion had i completed the thrifty staff contract i would have gone ahead and scored the six points here and inside the book it tells you a goal here and tells you how well you did gives you a ranking system based on the points so i would have scored captain I, i've scored pirate twice and sailor once and um so captain would have been pretty good but i just pushed my luck a little bit too much there's also another expansion uh called the adventure and that's a story mode um i have not learned that yet but i will learn that and record a playthrough in the future well, tell me in the comments below what you think of this game. Do you own it? Do you play it? Do you like it? Um, what, what are your thoughts about either the Just One More Contract expansion or the Adventure one? I'd like to hear them. Do you like any other Alexander Pfister games such as uh, Blackout Hong Kong or uh, Cloud Age? And uh, there's several others. And he just he does a really good job with his games, especially adding campaign modes and cooperative modes to his otherwise competitive games. But other than that, please like and subscribe to this channel if you like the content you see here. And I thank you very much for watching Tabletop for One, and have a great night.